Howard, there's a one in five chance. There's a one in five chance that you pick the game where I did this one. Me and Worm had a lot of stupid exchanges. And I don't know which game it was. I just picked three random ones. There's a very, very small chance that you get to see the stupid thing that I did that somehow worked out. Okay, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> it's uh, it's not. It's like, if you see it, just know it's like, it was just the thing I was fucking around with. Okay. Uh, oh, God. So, shield, neutral, and corner situations. Got it. Okay, well, this is the same. Uh, we talked about this last time, actually, where you're just, like, grabbing after the laser. You're kind of hoping. Yeah. Like, I, I do that a lot because, like, I know that I can, like, fare and wave dash out of uh, stuff. But, like, Worm is all... Worm, this whole set, was all over me. So I don't feel like I can wave dash because if I do, Worm's all up on me. Uh -huh. And then... I don't feel like I can do an aerial because I get stuck. So I feel like the only things that I can do are hope for him to mess up or roll. Like I think rolling's not I, that bad in a lot of spots. Uh, you can also like just block for a bit and then look for a good opportunity to get out, which you did want to talk about, you know, stuff out of shield. So that yeah. would be something good to look at. Uh, I saw this mode right here. This is prime grab time, by the way. So oh, whatever uh, he. So okay, Falco players always do this dumbass aerial. You see what I'm talking about? They always do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Falco players always do this. Also, Fox players do this. So they'll do like some dumb shit where they like aerial onto the top platform and then shield drop and then immediately aerial again. Or they'll do that on the side platform. Uh, if you think about it, you'll notice you see that a lot. And so you see right here. He does this down air, which has like a 0% chance of hitting. And then he just, after that, he tries to fall through and then catch you. And then you yeah. actually, to your credit, you avoided this. This is good, but you could have just grabbed this, right? And it looked yeah. like you're about to grab this. Psych. <laughs> I I'm afraid that he's going to like shine me. Like, I'm afraid that he can like shine out of that. So I was like, okay, I'll bait the shine. And then he did this, and I was like, oh. Uh, yeah, for the spacing, I generally, like, first off, I generally advise you to, like, for this, where it's, like, you know you can get a whiff punish, so I'd say just go for the whiff punish. I understand being scared of shine because it's fast, but I think, uh, like, also, like, even if they shine, the shine hitbox is really small. It's, like, super duper small. Like, I'm gonna pause at the spot where you could have gotten the grab. So, like, if you had dashed, so you dashed a little bit too far to the right. But if you were standing, like, right here where my mouse is, the shine does not hit you. Oh. Shine is really, really small. Uh, so, like, like his shine is probably about this big. Okay? It's like this circle. Okay. Drawing. His shine is really small. Okay. So, it's not hard for you to outspace it. You don't need to, like, bait it and, like... With punishing shine, it's, like, kind of a joke, right? Because they just jump out of it immediately, right? Yeah. They can, they can just jump cancel it. So I don't think you whiff plan shine. You just outspace it and they try to shine and then you grab them. So that's like kind of what happened here. It was like all this stuff where it's like, oh, and then you fared and you get eat a punish. All that happened because you just didn't go for a grab. Like all this. I thought your recovery on that instance was fine, by the way. Uh, this counter seems like a panic movement, kind of like, oh my god, he's off stage. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna counter. Yeah. Uh, so, but you understand that this counter is too far away, and you should probably, like, turn around down tilt here or something. Or just don't go yeah. as far in and then down, and then counter. Okay. Yeah, I think I could've just re-grabbed ledge, to be honest. Okay, that recovery's fine. Uh, you double jumped in, which I don't really like, but whatever. Okay, that recovery's good. Good DI. Okay, let's talk about this recovery. Okay. So, this starts off well. Side B, and then I would say you should just keep refreshing here. So, the problem here is, like, this fair is kind of like, I don't know, did you think he was fucking this up, or were you just, like, fairing? Like, I, I actually thought that he had, like, did it a little too slow. Like, 
I thought it was. I thought he had gone too high, like to mess this, it up. Yeah, I don't even know like, if the spear hits him actually. It's like wait, like here, I was like, oh shit, he's been off for like a second. Uh -huh. I'm like, I got this, and then he's like, and I was yeah. like, shit. This spear. I don't think really that would have hit anyone. Yeah. This spear is really far back though. I don't know that uh, this is even the right idea. You could have side beat again here. Okay. You could just slice it. It would have been like a great side B. It wouldn't have really made you hover very long, but it would have slowed your fall while you're side being a little bit. Uh, but like, yeah, once you. Thing is, like, this fair feels pretty safe, but it's really dangerous because, like, whenever you do the fair, then it means that you are committing to having to recover with up B. So if they hold on to it, you're just dead. Yeah. Okay, that's a good there. Okay, that's the spot we should counter. <laughs> yeah, I got this. Look at how smart I am, Howard. Uh, I you, did you, it. You should have done the Oni. You should have upbeat that. What Dude. if he had gone straight up? What if he hit an angle? This is a bad you have a pool. You got lucky. <laughs> no, I didn't. I calculated it. I promise. You got lucky. You got lucky that he <laughs> just recovered exactly. <laughs> that was good in there. <laughs> uh, this down tilt I like right here. Uh, you just counter. counter. The reason why you counter is look at your position. You're already right next to the ledge. And Wispy's blowing you into the ledge right now. Yeah. So you'll definitely get a counter off and hit him if he doesn't like super duper perfect angle it. Um, yeah, this would be a spot to counter. Uh, instead of like wave dashing back. The only difficult thing about this counter is that you have to remember to like push a direction out of your down tilt instead of trying to counter out of your down tilt, right? Because you have to do the interruptible frames in order to get the counter, which you get from like movement or pressing other hitbox, not uh, not just, oh, okay, so I can't... Counter. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Because, like, I was like, it's not working. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just slow or something. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I, I thought that's what it was. Yeah, so you're probably used to, as far as down tilt, you're probably used to dashing out of it. You're used to jumping out of it. You're used to, like, down tilting again or jabbing out of it. Uh, yeah. You cannot press a B buttons to interrupt it. So okay. the B button is the only thing you can't do. And unfortunately for you, counter involves the B button. So uh, this means you have to just like just walk forward one frame, just tap forward one frame, and then press counter, and then that'll get you there. I got you. A little bit of knowledge for you. God, I'm so smart. God, you're so lucky. What if he went Dude. off? Dude, what if he went off? What if? What if he didn't? <laughs> you could have just killed him. Okay, so really, uh, as soon as, so I'm gonna talk about this one more time. Uh. Yeah. As soon as you hit this getup attack, he fair. is dead. Like you uh, just run, yeah, you just run off stage and then you fair him or up B him. You just like run off stage and then you wait for him to start his up B because he doesn't have a choice and you fair or up B it and then he dies. Okay. No, Oni, stop going to the corner. We've talked about this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of going to the corner, but I think it's fine. You actually got out fine. Like, you just got up and rolled, right? Like, this is what I was talking about, where I, like, I think roll's pretty good. I actually agree with you after spending a week with it. Like, it's insane. It's yeah, the, stupid. The problem is just, like, when you roll, like, too much, then it's just, like, oh, it's really easy to read. But it's, like, if this, if you're, like, shielding, and then this back air hits your shield, and it's safe on shield, and then he gets all sorts of mix-ups, it's, like, sometimes you just roll and get out, you know? <laughs> And then this, yeah. and it just so happens that you picked a good time to roll. Now, when they start reading this roll, obviously, then you need to like mix it up and be willing to wait longer. But if they're just going to let you roll, yeah. then you should just roll. Yeah. Once they start reading the roll, I start to spot dodge. Like yeah, you can spot dodge, or you can just like stay still, or you can full hop. There's a lot of things you can do, right? You just do yeah. don't do things that get hit by roll reads, which is just roll. Yeah. But like right here, whenever they're like just trying to hit you immediately in the corner, yeah, just roll. And you actually get here, right? You get the grab. I should have waited. Dodges it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think it's like 50-50-ish, right? I mean, maybe it's not 50-50-ish. You're just playing a minigame because you know that he can't. Uh, you know that the fourth or re-grab isn't a true combo. But it's also yeah. reasonable to expect him to miss the, the DI here. So I don't hate the immediate re-grab attempt. 
Oh, that was that not was a grab. Silly, yeah, that was not a grab right there, I guarantee you. I think, uh, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. So you rolled I think I again, ooh. and then he back aired again. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it looked like you might have been. You might have been trying to. You might have been trying to whiff punish him with grab. Yeah. I think uh, you were this... probably trying to whiff punish this back air with grab. Yeah, like this grab doesn't bug me. Like it's not good, but I don't like. I don't love it. It's just kind of like he did the exact same thing that I did, mm -hmm. just while being worm. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you missed the jump cancel on this grab. Yeah. Now I, that I grab, that. I totally believe, wasn't intentional. Yeah, it was not. Yeah, this grab to the right. Uh, do you remember what you were trying to do? No, I'll be honest. Okay, because I can't figure it out either. <laughs> I like. I I will be completely honest with you. Like, I I I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I tried to run back in and grab him, but I think I just missed the run in because okay. I'm an idiot. I think right Ugh. there you should block or you should just roll again. <laughs> yeah, dude, rolling. Let's go. Roll roll would have gotten you out. Oh, okay. I hate that. Oh, well. Yeah, that was a bad recovery. And he chose a poor edge guard sequence. I don't like this jump. Yeah, I don't like that you did this jump like this. Okay, so here's the problem with this jump. Um, So this is a good side B. And then you, like, do this jump at this time that's like, well, you're really low. So there's no way this jump will ever catch the ledge, right? Yeah. But also, you're jumping, so, and he's on the ledge. So if he were more aware, he could have just dropped and then shine back aired here you. Shine yeah. back aired you here, and then you would have died. So then that's why you were like, oh my god, I have to up B, because you recognize that. But the side yeah. B was good. You just saved your jump longer, and then go down really low. Let me back up to where I would jump. So side B, and then I drop all the way down to like below where my... To like where my mouse is okay or even below it yeah and then you double jump and then 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 you can have like a double jump up b or you can just immediately up b and then you have that mix up this way he just botches the edge guard and you get lucky okay oh that grab it's all that i do so we wanted to talk about neutral this distance is probably too far to nair in with so this is really far okay you actually started yeah. from behind this white dust clap uh this distance is really far i would say if he were standing if you were right here and he were like where wispy's nose is then this would be yeah. the distance to near um i think in neutral this is uh too close of a distance for you to near right here uh what would we prefer the options to be um uh oh you're asking okay yeah, go uh ahead. Da -da -da. Hmm. I need to get out of corner so that he doesn't push me in. So I guess I could just wave dash and down tilt and then go for a guess, but I don't think that that's a good idea. I feel like I wait, right? Yeah, I don't mind waiting here. Okay, well, here's a different question. Let's watch back again the situation leading up to this. And then you tell me what you think he's going to do next. Here? Uh... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, tell me when. Good. Oh, and we almost got it. <laughs> yeah, because, like, I've okay. seen the situation. Right here. What's he doing? Okay. Next? Uh, duh, but d d d he, he's gonna nair, because I'm gonna nair, and he's gonna nair my stupid nair. Okay, yeah. So, uh, I. What what else could he be possibly be doing from here? Uh, let's. See. It, he has all the space in the world, and it looks like all I do is swing, so it just seems like he just has to wait and watch. I mean, he could laser, mm -hmm. but, like, I don't know. I don't like... Well, lasering at this distance is okay, I guess. Yeah. It seems like a, it's it's a long enough distance for it to be safe. Mm -hmm. I agree. And that's part of why I don't like your near forward, right? Because if you near forward, then you aren't going to be able to interrupt the laser anyway. Yeah. Which is usually what it's for, right? Usually you near forward because you want to catch them out of a jump as they're, like, trying to laser or do a late aerial yeah so yeah i agree that most likely his options are he's going to aerial at you uh it might be down air, it might be neutral air or he's going to shoot a laser and then try to go next so yeah. what would i do here 
Uh, normally, of course, we try to aggressively counterplay lasers by nearing at them, but we probably can't. We probably can't uh, get there in time, as we talk about. You could, if you're hard reading the laser, you could probably go for a dash attack here, and that might work. But that'll lose really hard to him going for a uh, laser, going for an aerial, which you're also thinking about. So this is a neutral situation where I think he's likely to either aerial in or he's going to laser and then aerial in. So to me, this is, uh, I agree with you that this is an ideal situation for you to be waiting. And then if he lasers, then you can dash back out of laser. Or uh, if you see he jumps and he doesn't laser immediately, then you just immediately dash back. It helps, and it helps that, it, that like you know that you want to dash back no matter what you end up seeing. The only thing that changes is the timing. So you go for this nair forward, and he actually lasers backwards. And you got wrecked because he's shielded. Uh, oh no. And then you try to grab this cross-up aerial because you're a Marth player. That makes you inherently stupid. This is what Marth players do, right? They're like, ah, it is a high aerial on shield. I'm going to grab it. And then you just like didn't notice that his drift was going to carry him behind you. You gotta be careful about that shield grab because there's multiple ways for him to punish. Yes. No. Yeah, that's good. I did this. Nope. Okay. Not what I meant to. Do. Yeah. So let's talk about this post laser option. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to roll. Probably you meant to dash back, but yeah. uh, actually I know what probably happened here. So you got shot, and then you were trying to shield after your up smash. So you were holding down a trigger button, and then you tried to dash back after the laser, but your trigger button was held, so you accidentally buffered a roll, and then you got hit by the laser because it hit you <laughs> through your roll, and then he nared the shit yeah. out of you. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay, so what's the moral of the story here? Um, <laughs> don't freak out and hold shield, is why I would say. Yeah. Or, or if you're gonna, or uh. Or at least, like, don't get your wires crossed. I think it's fair for you to hold shield here. But if you're going to hold shield, you're going to hold shield, okay? You're not going to, like, be like, oh, hold shield, uh, dash back. Uh, uh, you're just going to pick one, okay? <laughs> so it's like, yeah. you're going to get shot by this laser, and you're either going to, like, block what comes next and then look for a way out, or after this up smash, you're trying to dash out. Don't try to do both. Okay. He even fucks up here. He like whiffs this second shine. You could, you were, you were actually scot free. Look at this. You could have hit him. <laughs> He's just so terrifying, man. You could have hit him. Look at all this I, time. I know. But like, oh, that was the dumb interaction. That was, uh, that was yeah. another one of the dumb interactions, the down tilt. I didn't know how, yeah. That's unlucky. I don't blame you. Uh, it's not often you don't know where he's going up, and then, like, he just slides behind you. It's weird. Dude, you see how this shine misses? This yeah. is what I'm talking about. Wait, when I'm, wait, when wait, I say, see. when I tell you that you just can space around the shine instead of trying to whiff punish it, I'm wow. not joking. Wow. <laughs> I'm standing right next to him. I'm telling you, shine is really small, and this is the bigger side of Shine, okay? Shine is oh. bigger behind the space animal. Yeah. I think it also helps that I'm moving. Like, I'm moving... Is Shine, like, just a hitbox? Or is it, like, a growing hitbox? Uh, it's just the bubble that appears. Oh, wow. So this is... Oh, wow. Yeah. Like, I'm not kidding when I tell you Falco Shine is really small. Damn. Like, that's just absurd. And then you dash, and then your dash animation ducks his back here. This is all good for you, by the way. Grab. What? Did I get hit? Yeah, you got hit. You tried to turn around too early. Oh, uh, okay. So you were trying to... My bet, you are trying to grab him after the shine. Yeah. And then you just get hit by this. You, you need to dash more here. You won't. You don't... Okay. Okay. Nice uh, 
Yeah, so uh, it looks like you're getting stuck a lot because you're definitely actionable at this point, right? So right yeah. here. And then you're actionable. See, you, you got you got like three frames of shield out. And then you drop it, which is terrible. Uh, well, this is dropping is what actually gets you hit, right? Like you're yeah. like, oh my god, I'm not getting hit. So like I need to get out of shield. Then he hits you because, you know, dropping your shield takes longer than wave dashing our shield does. Does it? Yeah, dropping your shield is a 15 frame animation. Mart's wave dash takes 14 frames. Oh shit! You sh never ever just drop your shield. Just you can always wait. Like even wave dashing down is faster. Okay. Uh, the only time dropping your shield is good is when you're playing Smash Four or Ultimate. <laughs> That's when you do drop shield stuff. Uh, but so yeah. never. Yeah, don't don't just drop your shield like that. You can always wave dash out. So yeah, it seems like you're stuck in the corner a lot. And look at this. So I'm gonna point out this platform sequence again. Look at this. Uh, and then he just like wave lands off the top platform, comes to hit you, right? So it's like a lot of times if you just like space and hide in the corner, then it feels very stupid. But like it works very well against like Falco, who loves to do aerial off the platform like that. And you're having a lot of trouble catching his platform movement like between stops. And it is so much of problems like, well, you do want to get a hit here, but a lot of times you mess it up in such a way that gets you counter hit. Like right there. That was an appropriate distance to near, near forward though. So let's take a look at that. So yeah, uh -huh. he's dashing and then he's coming. So that you see how that distance was slightly smaller? Yeah. Okay, that was a very ambitious grab attempt. I mean, you're all the way over here, and he's all the way over here, and you're like, I'm gonna grab him. <laughs> uh, God, looking back at it, I do so much bad shit. Right here, I would say uh, Power Shield would be a great idea here. So, you know, like we want to talk about neutral and against lasers and stuff. I think Power Shielding here. Uh, it's a great idea. Uh, There's a very, very power shieldable laser. You can see the height above your head that it clears. Mm -hmm. There's a very power shieldable laser. Uh, continuing to dash in here is not a terrible idea, but like, I don't know. I think it's like an extremely obvious power shield. Or you could have like tried to do a jump in, or you could have gone for this sequence where you jump here. And you jump forward, and then you do take laser, and then fair him as he's coming in, because he actually did second laser. That would also work. Okay, nice. Okay, so... Pause for a sec. So take laser fair. Is take laser fair, like... Is it something that I'm meant to do in a response to them moving in, like, from laser aerial? Or is it something that I'm meant to do, like... I don't, I like laser fair doesn't make sense to me because I don't know when to use it. I just know it's a thing I can do. Okay, so I believe that it is not really possible to react to Falco like lasering and then like jumping forward. Yeah. At a lot of distances. Uh, you don't yeah, it's too know. Fast. You don't know if he's going to like laser and then laser forward or laser and then aerial in or whatever so i would say as a default you just as a level one i would say you just whenever you get lasered out of the air you mash fair okay that's level one uh you just like always start off that way and then if they start punishing you for doing that which they can then uh you do like then you can do like uh, take laser and then like double jump there or you can do take laser and then wave land back I see okay so yeah uh, I don't think it's so much a, a response to you seeing him jump in again as it is uh, an automatic response to getting lasered out of the air to start with yeah as opposed to nothing I see what you're saying yeah it's, it's hella better than just like oh I guess I got shot Ah, uh, debated. Ah, uh, no. 
Uh, I think you could have actually recovered from this. This is, like, pretty bad DI, but... Yeah, I didn't think he was just gonna, like... Okay, so this... Yeah, as you started side being so late here that uh, you didn't have, like, the height. But you could have been side being a lot of this time, and I'm pretty sure you could have made it back. Yeah, he does, like, do a good coverage, but, like, you can see how, like, you weren't that far from the ledge. If you had side beat a yeah. little bit, then I think you could have made it back. This is the stupid game. Uh, what is stupid what? about it? You'll see. Okay. There's one... I think this is the game where I do the one incredibly just, like, dumb sequence. Okay, um, so same thing. You're seeing this now, right? You're seeing he yeah. does a lot of this, like... Uh, just go on the platform and then aerial through it. Duh. And yeah, then you're like kind duh. of down tilting here. I think down tilting here is kind of like a. This is another one of those like training mode down tilts where you're just like, oh, I'm just down tilting. But like, if you think about it, it's like, what are we doing down tilting? Yeah. You know, like he's up here and then you're like down tilting down here. Like, this will never ever hit him. Yeah. This is definitely like a watching the screen thing, right? Your two plays here are you either like up air, yeah, you either up air or forward air here to to read him like uh, if he were to like fall through with a laser, then you want to arrow to beat it, or if he were to do like a or if he were doing one of those like fall through double jump mix ups, then you're doing that, or you yeah. uh dash you dash dance here. And then he falls through in the back air, and then you grab him because he's doing a a shitty fall through aerial. You don't down tilt because uh, I mean down tilt already loses people jumping over, and it's never going to hit the guy he's on the platform. Okay, that's good stuffing. This. Yeah, I mean whatever. What are you going to do? I think you're yeah. this is about right. I mean, I wouldn't be swinging here because, like, I think that floor smash kind of gives an opportunity to come up and punish you with double laser. But, like, I have absolutely no problem with you just standing here. And then as soon as he start, look, starts looking like he's going to come up, then I dash back. I mean, you dashed in because, uh, I guess you have a death wish. <laughs> okay, so my problem with dash in here, right, is so you dash in and, like, what if he just shines here or you turn around up tilts? You just, like, yeah. get wrecked. But, like, if you dash back here, this is why I say you should dash back here. Because, like, okay, let, let's let's imagine you're standing here, yeah? And then he comes up, and as soon as this happens, you dash left. Then he aerials, and he ends up, like, right here, and you turn around and you grab him. I got you. So it's like playing, a, so, you know, is that's kind of like what playing around ledge dashes entail. I think you did... A good job of playing around the ledge itself there because you are at a good enough spacing so that he couldn't necessarily like uh <clears throat> so that you know he wouldn't be able to like ledge hop double laser or ledge dash and immediately hit you he would have to like ledge dash and do some sort of like full forward aerial which is what he did but i think you didn't play around like the option correctly it felt like uh i don't know either you were like you going forward Either means that you're kind of like gambling on a bad read that he's just gonna like have a shit ledge dash and then not go anywhere and then you're gonna grab him for it and then kill him. Or you are thinking that uh, maybe he won't ledge dash. Or yeah, Dude, I don't know. I think it's not very justifiable. I yeah, the, I. <sighs> I need to be conscious of beating double laser from ledge. I guarantee you that's what I was trying to do because for some reason in my brain, I think that down tilt should beat double laser from ledge because they're rising, it kind but of it does. never does. It kind of but does. like it never does. No, 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 it kind of does. Uh, it, but it's like very annoying. It depends on like the laser heights and whatever, but it kind yeah. of does. There are other. I literally. Yeah, I literally just need to shield at ledge. Like, if I think that they're going to double laser, I literally just have to stare at the ledge and shield, and then I'll probably get it if I'm spacing correctly. 
That's true. Uh, the only thing is, like, the shield loses to, like, Ledge Dash would be bad, right? But it's just like, I mean, if you're willing to just, like, bet it all that they're going to double laser rather than going for a Ledge Dash, then sure, whatever. I have no problem. Alright, I see what you're saying. It is awkward. You, you have, like, a lot of these spots where it would be appropriate for you to, like... Like, cause like this, okay, so like right here, he does this aerial, which it trades with your forward tilt, and like, it trades, it hits you because you forward tilted. Like, you see how like your leg and your arm are sticking out here, and then you connect right here? Uh, if you literally just stood here, right here, and did nothing, yeah. and you would be able to turn around and press Z and grab and throw him off the stage. Uh. So you're kind of just like mashing out of the situation here and uh even though you may feel like in the moment you're like oh hell yeah i didn't get down there uh because i like did a good thing by like uh i did a good thing by forward tilting which is like you actually did a bad thing by forward tilting because it actually made you get hit where you could have gotten a grab so kind of like it seems like you don't have a good idea of how far falco can down air at you and you being able to react. Like, that's it, really far. You see how far that is? Like, from right yeah. here, this is where he left. This is the beginning of the white poof. This distance is really big. I would say that, like, this is literally just turn around and press C. I would say if you were right here at this distance, you should be able to turn around and then dash away and turn around and grab him. Mm -hmm. You should be able to get a dash dance grab from this amount of distance. From this amount of distance, he can't even hit you unless if you let him hit you. Which, which is, I did. Yeah, which is what you did. So, like, you kind of need to be, like, cognizant of this spacing. Because, actually, uh, this spacing is, like, almost ideal for you. This is, like, if you can imagine, uh, like, a rubber band between your character and Falco, and the rubber band, like, kind of defaults to this distance, right? And you want uh, to stay about this close to Falco, maybe a little closer, honestly. Like a plat? Yeah, probably from, like, where this white cloud begins to, like, just where the Yoshi's platform begins. This yeah. is the rubber band you want to imagine, okay? And you can stretch it for your dash back, and then, but then it's going to, like, return to normal. Yeah. Uh, you want to try to gravitate towards this spacing. Uh, in my opinion, this is, like kind of like one of the ideal spacings too where you'll be able to mix up between dashing back or like aggressively going in to stuff uh like if he goes laser laser so yeah commit commit kind of like two full aerials across the stage uh and like i don't know go in as falco or like play against dro and just be like hey full aerial across just like full aerial without like dashing first at me and then just like kind of commit that distance to memory because you need to understand that you need to understand the spacing where he can and cannot hit you because it's like if you don't understand that spacing then it's going to create all of the awkward issues where you're just like oh i did an extra dash back because i thought he was going to get a shine out which we talked about earlier or like i like try to counter hit him first and like that's just like not working at all so you yeah. really this uh, this spacing is really really key and neutral you need to get to that spacing mm -hmm. okay oh right. uh, i tried to i tried to remove that back a little bit i thought he was gonna go forward as well uh-huh because i totally could just f smash this you totally can, but yeah, I should. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is like kind of weird that you near here. This kind of like feels like a, another situation where you aren't like really comfortable in the matchup because uh, it feels like you're not sure. Uh, like maybe you're not sure you should. You'll be able to get a hit on this. Like you're not sure if you'll true combo this or. If he's going to tech roll and then you're going to forward smash. And then if you wait, then he's going to like jump out or something. You're just not sure. So you just like go for this like neutral air hedge to try to cover everything. Uh, I think you should just like 
kind of learn the punish in this matchup and kind of get and then you can like I'm not saying like you have to be like oh when I up air Falco and he is at 66 percent then he has to check on the Yoshi side part. you just can like as you play it you kind of like you get intuition you figure it out that's kind of like what your instincts tell you so it's like right there when I hit that up air I'm like okay this is going to be a tech situation and then I'm ready to like stand underneath the platform in such a way that I can forward smash him no matter what his tech option ends up being. Uh, Bullet, yeah. So yeah, I think it should be like that. More of a watch, I got you. Yeah, okay. So a lot of times it seems like you get very bored when he's fire stalling. And then you're just like, and then you just like go in and do some crazy shit. So it happened twice here, where, uh, so like he's fire stalling, right? And you're like, okay, this down tilt, I think this down tilt is fair. If he fucks up and then you down tilt him, he's dead. I think that's fine. So then you dash back after the down tilt doesn't work. I like that. But then you like come in and you like fair. You're like, yeah, I'm going to fair. And I'm just like, whoa, that's some crazy shit. Don't do that. If he's going to like sit on the ledge like this, then you can let him or you can like dash in as if you're going to approach it to like try to make him come off and then immediately dash back. All right. Yeah. You see kind of like, this is like the same muscle memory I was talking about uh, where early, where the first interaction on dreamland, he lasered you and he lasered in and then you shield grab him afterwards. Same thing happens here. Uh, right here, he lasers and you try to grab it. But this time, he drifts back, and boy, he should have shit on you real hard. And then that's kind of like what I'm talking about, where it's like, this is like, that is a bad grab that gets rewarded all the time, so people do it a lot. But you need to understand, like, if they drift back at all on their aerial like that, then your grab gets wrecked. That's why I think, uh, that's why that that's a bad, that's why I keep telling you, oh, this is a bad grab. Uh, I tried to fucking shield, but I'm so slow. Yeah, uh, so it seems a lot of times, like... So you, like, shielded in response to fucking up again. Is actually what yeah. happened, right? It doesn't look like you were, like, reading him double lasering. It looks like you you went forward smash here, and then... He, he saw that you were in forward smash lag, so he went for a punish with double laser. And then you, like, tried to shield in response to, like, you fucking up. So it seems yeah. like you're kind of like one step behind, you know? Uh, and this happens uh, a pretty fair amount. So like we talked about the situation uh, in the previous game, if you remember, where he whiffed the back air on the right side of the stage and then you went for that grab that you missed the jump cancel on, you remember, on Dreamland? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so that was like you being like, oh, he's whiffing an aerial, let me go grab him. But... By the time he's whiffing this aerial, if you are just now reacting and deciding that you're going to grab him for that, at that space, then it's already too late. Does that make sense? Yeah, I have to, like, know, you know? Yeah, so, uh, so this is like a drug fox thing that I quote all the time. And basically, the idea is that, like, in Melee, there are, like, two main ways to get openings, right? You either uh, directly read them, and then you get a punish off of that, or you react to what they ended up doing, and then you try to get a read on what their next option will be. So that back air is a perfect example of that, because if you read that he was going to go for that back air into the corner that you rolled out behind, uh, then after you roll, you could immediately go for the grab, and then that would be directly punishing the back air with a read. And if he went for the back air, if you know, if you see he went for the back air and then he whiffs it, now is now it's now too late to decide that you're going to try to whiff punish it with grab. That's not happening anymore. You have to then be like, okay, he's whiffing. The, what do I think he's going to do after the back air? Uh, like, my money's on honestly on spot dodger roll. So I would like dash back a little bit or dash forward and then look for a spot dodge. You know, something like that. Yeah. I would probably a preferentially cover rule. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of like a situation where you have to be aware of if you aren't of, like, 
And it goes back to the spacing thing I talked about, uh, your rubber band. It was like, you want to know the ideal spacing where we are getting a true punish or we aren't. And then if we aren't going to be able to get a true punish, then uh, which happens all the time because this matchup is fast, then uh, you need to be on the next page for what's going to happen. So that's why I think for this Ford Smash, so you look at this Ford Smash, you whiff this Ford Smash, uh, and then you're like trying to react to him. It's too late to react now that you that now that you've whiffed. You yeah. have to either choose shield because he's going to uh, go for like an earlier early aerial off of ledge, or you have to choose dash back because he's lasering. Oof. Uh, this is kind of a thing. So, yeah, that was obviously I tried meant to, to be I tried an uptilt. It's yeah. obviously meant to be an uptilt, yeah. And then you just, like, try to forward smash. And so it's like, this is kind of like... It seems that uh, he's able to kind of outguess you in this situation a lot. You know what I mean? Like, he's kind mm -hmm. of... Uh, a lot of times, you're like... You only ever default to two options out of Wake Up. Uh, you And uh, I would say there are like three main options that you have to... Well, maybe four. Okay, let's say there are four main options you have to default to out of Wake Up. The first one is what you did here, which is press a button. Right, you try to, you try to mash. Good old Wake Up DP. Uh, option two is you shield. That's also what you, one of your go-tos, and you only ever do those two. But you need to incorporate the other two, which are you dash afterwards, and you can dash back or you can dash forward. Dash back is usually the default defensive option there, so you can like miss a move, or then dash back, and then you can see how right here, if you had, okay, let's look at this again. You see how after landing here, if you had just dashed back immediately, then you would have yeah. gotten a dash chance grab. So that's option yeah. three, dash back. Uh, and it's like a very secure option. And dash back, honestly, I think should be your default over like pressing this forward smash or pressing the shield. Dash back is a better default to go for because when you dash back, you gain space, which translates to time, right? Uh, because it takes them longer to get to you, so you can be so you can react better. And option four is spot dodge or roll. Gotcha. So you kind of need to start incorporating dash back and like rolling away uh, out of like these scrambling situations. Because as it is, you mostly either hold shield or you just like try to press a button. And it makes you like extremely easy to outguess, right? Because if you all you ever do is forward smash, or uh, hold shield here, then all he has to do is do like an aerial right here, and then it'll be safe on shield because like Marth can't shield grab it, right? He can fast fall it so that it's not shield grabbable. And it will also come out earlier to beat forward smash, early enough to beat forward smash. And you can't like down tilt, down tilt him for it because he's, he's jumping over it. So you kind of need to incorporate these other options. Classic. Ow. <laughs> I tried! I cannot blame you. I cannot blame you. That's a good recovery. God, I'm so smart. I cannot blame you. Yes. I don't mind that. I do mind that. Okay, so we talked about this corner situation. DMs a little bit. Okay, right here. You remember when I told you Falcons like to roll the corner? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, and you're just like, oh, you know, roll's really bad because it gets hit by my force smash. No, it doesn't. You see what I'm saying here? Roll, especially with Falco. Falco and Chica have very long rolls. You have to like, dude. You have to be reading it. 
he rolls really far. You know, he was here and now he's here. He's like rolling over the length of the side platform. Falco's roll is really long. And that's part of what makes it so strong. So, uh, yeah, you need, to, I mean, we talked about, we already talked about this corner situation in DMs and how, you know, it's yeah. like an advantage mix up situation and blah, 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 blah. And like, sure, like if you're reading this, but it's like, you kind of have to. A lot of situations, basically, it feels like you're just kind of forward smashing without thinking about, without necessarily making a read on what he's going to do that you're trying to beat out. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what it feels like based off of how I've been playing. It seems like a lot of times you just like, oh, I'm just going to hit a button. I don't Dude, really I thought that... I'll be real with you, Howard. I, I was like very convinced that this just covered everything. I was like, dude, I got this. If he jumps, he'll get hit. Yeah. Like if he rolls, he'll get hit. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of lack the situation here. You see how far this roll goes? This is what I was telling you. They like yeah. people like to roll. And if you spot dodges, the force mesh also doesn't work. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great right, game. Oh my god. No! I tried to run in. I tried to run in. It just didn't happen for some reason. So you can, by the way, you can hit confirm this fair. Uh, this is another, like, knowing your punish tree thing, where it's like, you hit a fair here, then you fast fall the fair, and then you know that he's going to have a tech situation, so you get ready to tech chase. Um, You cannot hit him with the second fair here, which you tried to do. I can't. Okay. Yeah, which grab okay so and then it seems like so here we are uh this is approximately the magic spacing remember our rubber band i think you should yeah, the get nair. a little closer and you can like nair here and it'll catch a spot dodge and lose horribly to roll but like you know sometimes they spot dodge and it'll also beat them if they like try to jump with laser so or you can just stand here and then he whiffs and you get a punish you, you punish him because he's whiffing a down tilt but you don't. So it's like you you're at almost basically not quite the perfect spacing, right? But you're we'll we'll say you're almost at the right spacing. And then this is like where he whiffs a move, then that's money for you. Like that's where you go in and then you hit him. But you don't because I mean I guess you're not aware of the spacing here, you're just like not ready for it. And then you also uh, miss your turn around. You also miss your jump cancel. You should grab the ledge there just in case. Okay, same thing. You see this? He shoots you. You're shielding. He shoots you and you grab. And then he lasers you again. And it's like, okay, so you got the fair. But, you know, like, yeah, stop shield grabbing after this. After this. What if he, like didn't laser back as far what if he had like shot another laser right here yeah then you would have been fucked because you're like trying to you're like trying to mash shield grab out of this laser I this agree. is a, this is a habit that you need to break uh you should replace it with something else uh instead of shield grab after laser uh i suggest you can what, 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 what can you do? What are your choices? You can full hop. You can do mm -hmm. literally nothing. Uh, I I think doing literally nothing is actually not terrible there. Um, you can wave dash back. Okay. Moving forward is bad. It's not moving forward that's bad. Uh, I think wave dashing forward is even acceptable because like, if he lasers backwards, then you catch it. I think shield grabbing is bad. I got you, I got you. Yeah, he shield poked you. That's a, actually a guaranteed shield poke on mine, by the way. Oh, that sucks. Uh -huh. Whoops, meant to up tilt. Okay, I see you work on that timing. I see you up smash a lot on accident. Or, I see you up smash and up air a lot on accident where you try to up tilt. You need to work on that. Ow. Okay, good counter, good bot. No! Oh, come on! I tried! Own it! I pressed the button! 
I pressed the button. <laughs> I went to dare him, and it didn't happen. Do you know how upset I was? <laughs> Look, I'm not as good at hitting it on that side. <laughs> okay, let's talk about these outer shields. Uh, a lot of it just has to do with lasers. So, uh... Okay, so you're accidentally rolling a lot here, too. Uh, a lot of this has to do with, again, uh, you're, like, trying to dash and power shield or something, and then, like, you try to do both, it doesn't work. It's like, yeah. come on, you're trying to do one. Oh, you could have grabbed that. I could just grab Oni, you fucking... Oh, you could have grabbed that. Okay, so here's part of here's part of your problem, and uh, I'm able to diagnose this very accurately because I also use Heaven's Bone. Uh, you are like, I'm just gonna take this little win with down tilt, and because like I'm not entirely sure if I can get this grab, so I'm gonna use like a bigger hitbox, and then I'm gonna use my sword to try to like push him into a corner. I'm going to tell you that in spots like that, you. The risk reward and grab favors you for that. Go for the grab. You want you aren't going to beat Falco, uh, unless if generally you aren't beating a Falco player that uh is similar skill to you or better. If you aren't going to go for the openings that are going to give you a fat reward, and your fat reward is grab. So in these spots. Like, you see these spots where you're, like, down tilting and stuff? Yeah. Uh, even if down tilt works, like, 20% more often than grab does, grab, uh, it's worth it to, like, grab and be wrong in those 20% of scenarios. Yeah. Because... It'll always net more. Yeah, you'll net more. You'll probably get like, and I'm just pulling numbers out of my ass here, you understand? But like, you'll yeah, probably yeah, get yeah, yeah. 40% more reward off of grab. So the risk reward favors grab. You want the openings that give you the fat money. If you're going for like this down tilt, then you end up playing an awkward situation where it's like, well, I made like a little baby read and then uh, I hit him backwards, but he's still actionable. And even though I just hit him, so I'm like at a little bit of advantage. Uh, I, I can't really punish him, so I need to. So I need to like make another baby read again, and then like if you're down tilting again after that, it's like okay, well now I need to make another little baby read. You know, eventually, yeah, all of those odds when you add them up become worse than worse than if you were just willing to press the Z button to begin with. Yeah, I got you. Oh, that was a nice game. Oh, worm destroys me this game. I think. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what happens yeah. on FD if you aren't willing to, like... Because, like, why is FD good for Marth? Because of grab, right? But if I don't grab, it's right. bad. So if you aren't willing to grab and you can't get your conversions off of grab, it very quickly turns into a terrible stage. Yeah. You see, like, you're down tilting here. You're down tilting in a lot of these spots where it's just like... I mean, now that you're here... I don't think that down tilting is a bad move, but I think that you don't need to put yourself in a situation where your down tilt is preferable. I think you should just grab him. You, or you should be at spacings where you can find grabs more easily. And I'm not telling you to fish for grabs, but uh, you should be... It seems right now that you're playing for little minor wins. You know, you're playing to land down tilts on him. You're playing to land jabs on him. Uh... Any down tilts, jabs, or fares that you land on him should be in service of being able to get a grab later. But it seems like you're playing just to get minor hits instead of playing to get big openings. And you aren't going to win without getting big openings. I think I SD here. Oh, I believe it. No. Yeah. See, like, then, like, now you grab... Uh, okay, uh, we fucked up this, but you know that. But like, yeah. I mean, okay, so like, this this down tilt, and then you dash back, and then you it ends up working. So you get this grab. This is a good grab because you punish him for shielding. You probably thought you were up there. Uh, up tilt. Uh, I would have up aired, by the way. 
But this dash jump fair fair yeah. Did you not fare early enough? What happened here? Yeah, I did it late. I'm way too close. Uh huh. Cause then I scoot forward. Yeah, but and then he just like barely wiggles out. Okay, that's unfortunate. I think you should have up aired after your instead of up tilting after the after the up throw. Up tilt still would have led to things, but okay, you were a little bit slow on this. Yeah. Yeah, so you tried to up tilt and you suck your hand out and you got hit by shine. And that's the spots where it feels like, wow, Falco's shine is shine is so big. Uh because you're like Swing into it, and then he hits your hand. Uh, it's not big. And now he will try. Okay, so same thing here, right? Where you just kind of like, oh, I don't yeah. want to commit too much into a grab, so I'm going to down tilt. And you down tilt him, and then it's just like, oh, well, now I'm going to like try to like dash dance and like get in the air or something. He just like rolls behind you. It's like, what if you just press Z to begin with? Uh, you tried to grab again after this laser. We talked about that. Okay, it's a kill. Sure. Awkward. At least you didn't double. Okay, good. You're a little slow after this fair. You should... Yeah, okay. So, it wasn't that you were slow or you were slow, but it's because you landed with shield. So, uh, did you just miss... I mean, did you just hold L after you all cancel, I guess? Probably. Yeah. Uh, well, it sounds stupid. For me to say, but it's like, I mean, you missed the grab because of this, right? Yeah. Like, getting the soft fair to grab isn't a true combo, so to speak, but it does happen all the time. Soft air onto grab, and obviously, whenever you shield, you lose the opportunity. So, uh, that's like a, an execution thing to clean up. Aha, got him. Uh huh, good grab. Alright, sure. Oh god. I thought my Nair would beat it because I waited for a second oh, and I was like, bro. Oh, what a great game. <laughs> Dude, I'm the best player. Watch this. Look, I win. No, I don't. What a great game. He won't. Uh huh. I just rolling. Okay. Yeah, it's like, ah, uh, I mean, I jabbed him. It's like, okay. And it's like, feels weird because whenever you play the game, you get to this spot, right? And then you're just like, Fuck. jabbing him is the right thing to do. <laughs> and to be fair, in this spot, I think jabbing him or up tilting him or something like that to that effect is the right thing to do. But I think it's wrong to like posi to like put yourself in a spot where you have to hit this jab to begin with. Like, yeah, you could have just dashed back up with laser and then look for a grab, you know. Uh huh, you're grabbing after the laser again. Aha! Uh -huh. Got him. Oh, he almost had him. Okay, so this is another outspacing. Uh... Uh, I was so okay, close. Yeah, you see how his moves just like aren't that big. This is why, yeah. like, auto cancel, bear, and shine are actually like kind of shit moves in neutral against the Marth, to be honest. And you down tilt him! You know, like, you know. why are we down tilting? <laughs> like, okay, he whips this back air, and you down tilt? Like, what? If you just dash back and press Z, then you would get him. And then you would maybe win, you know? Now you have to, like, get lucky right here. You know, you have to be like, ooh, uh, I somehow found a grab because he just, like, did an unsafe aerial and shield, and now I got a grab, you know? Uh, this should be a regrab, by the way. And then you die. Yeah. I mean, that one couldn't be helped. You have no double jump. You're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the main lesson on this is, like, you aren't playing for a big enough reward. You know, you're, like, trying to play him to say... You're playing the matchup by saying, like, I outrange him, so I'm going to, like, kind of, like, close him into a corner and, like, uh, try to bully him with my sword and, like, push him out. And then, like, he's going to die when I push him off stage. But I think you should be, uh, 
I think that approach to the matchup only really makes you beat people that because it feels really good when it's working but i think it mostly works on people that you could have beaten by pressing grab anyway right like it, it mostly is a thing that like makes you beat people that uh you are bet you are outspacing them already you're out moving them already so like you're gonna beat them like almost no matter what you did as long as like you were playing with the same level of seriousness and intent uh whereas like uh so it's like you could have been grabbing instead and you would have still won uh but like whenever it comes to like a stronger opponent who's more similar to your skill level or better than your skill level then it's just like suddenly like this walling stuff like doesn't work as much because you don't actually win the neutral interactions and then when they come back and they hit you they hit you really fucking hard and then uh and then like you like hit your like jab and then it turns to like this or your down tilt and turns out into this like awkward scramble we're just like uh, i'm like sour spot up tilting him and then like having to like get weird tech chases and i'm not getting yeah. any real hits that's what happens uh, whenever you try to play this matchup kind of too much like that. It's like you're just not willing to like look for uh, the higher reward option enough. Okay. So in my notes, I have uh, stop grabbing after laser. Mm-hmm. Uh, go for grabs and not little rewards. Yeah. Like more cons. Uh, learn how to up tilt out uh, after up air. Yeah, or yeah. I mean, it's the timing thing, right? It seems like yeah. you aren't used to like the rhythm. Yeah, and or then the maybe last you thing you are is... used to rhythm, but then like you know, it's like you're trying to do a lot of things, and you're like trying to up air from the ledge, and then do it as quickly as possible, and then you just like press up, and then you accidentally up air. Uh, refer to my Discord status. Uh, slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. Try to iron instead of trying to do it as fast as possible try to iron out the timing and do the timing as smoothly as possible. I got you. And my last note is just overall be more patient. Uh, Patient? I mean, I guess. It's like patience is good in general. It feels like kind of like a general kind of a general note to write down. Like, what are you being patient for? You know, what are you looking for? I would, yeah. I would say something that's really important for you is to like... Uh, you really want to learn the spacing that you're going to be comfortable with. Okay. Learn approaching spacing. All right. Well, anyway, Howard, thank you. I have work super early in the morning, so I am going to go to bed. Yep. But thank you, thank you. No problem.